hope you guys are doing okay how are you guys doing it's been a while like a really long while a really long time like happy new year guys i know this might be april or may but i'm still saying happy new year because this is the first video i'm making in 2020 and this is the first video i'll be uploading in 2020 so my old videos i'll just push them forward and upload fresh videos for now and i'm and my head up now posting those so guys how are you guys doing it's winter but it's kind of like <laughs> hot right now i went out and i just got back not long i'm not even sure if my makeup still look fresh or if i look good but anyways i decided to make this video at last i've been procrastinating every time i'll be like i need to make this video and then i end up not making it so today i was like kemi you got to make this you need to make this video so i have good news for you guys i'm expecting babies like did i like did i just spill the milk did i just spill the milk i'm expecting babies i'm expecting twins so yeah it was a surprise to me too and it's something i'm really excited about i'm nervous because i am i'm nervous because i'm literally going from having one child that is five year old already to having three children like i never planned for this even though i've always wanted twin my husband i've always wanted twin like it's something we already say but you know like man proposes god disposes there are times that we say things with our mouth that we are not in control of it but it just happened and i'm really wowed at the whole thing like i'm excited i'm really happy about it um moving forward i'm going to make a lot of videos lots of videos about um twin trying to conceive i've never mentioned it before i tried to conceive for more than two years and it wasn't forthcoming like a lot of thing i plan on making video about the difference between having a single teen and having a twin pregnancy it's different for everyone i'm just going to talk based on my experience so yeah so i'm excited to share all these things i'm going to upload this video after i have my babies because i am not very comfortable like posting like apart from the fact that i don't really have time by the way guys i graduated i'm done when i'm with my masters at last i graduated in december um it's one of those things i'm thankful for in 2019 and just moving forward 2020 i'm expecting like great things um even though like i'm not seeing them right now but i believe in my heart that um 2020 will bring like a lot of good stuff yeah so anyways so apart from the fact that i might not like be able to be consistent with making videos because of like pregnancy hormones or like some personal reasons i am not like personally comfortable making videos and when i'm pregnant i i just i don't detest people that do it in fact i love watching pregnancy video baby video childbed videos like i'm literally like always watching i watch um c-section video people always tell me i'm weird like why will i be watching those videos but to me i don't know i just i'm weird like that like i'm i'm weird like that like for example i like watching videos where you know these um um chiropractic um video where they like crack people's bone like they do massage for them and hearing the crack sa sound like i like watching videos like that where they're like massaging people's body and i'm hearing the crack sound and then if you're weird like me just let me know i'm weird like that <laughs> anyways <laughs> Did I just did I just expose myself on camera anyway? Alright, so I'm really excited. We're having twins. Two whole babies on this my small body. I'm really excited about it. I'm really happy. I am awesomely happy about it. So I'm just going to share with you guys so that this video will not just be about like Oh, I'm having a baby. I'm going to share with you guys how we found out we're having twins. So, when we're, we've been trying to conceive for a while, for like more than two years, and it got to a point, I'm like, 
I need to like take this thing, this thing off my heart. Like, as since I have one child, like if you are not new to this channel, you know I have a child. I have a um, he's, he's five year old now. I'm like, okay, at least I have a child, so I am thankful that at least I have one child. I'll just take care of my child. Maybe this is just the one child I'm going to have in my life. It's okay and stuff. So I decided to at the beginning of this year, I decided to take it out of my mind and just live my life and be happy and then i was that was at the beginning of 2019 by the way that was a mistake 2019 and i was still in school so i just concentrated on school concentrated on family on my child and everything and then um there was this i don't know if you're a christian you'd understand what i'm saying but i just need to share this part so around august in my church um we did like um a prayer 21 a 21 day um prayer and fasting was it no it was just prayer actually so just 21 days prayer so you are we were supposed to go to church like every morning six o'clock but i didn't go i only went once but that once i went um we we're giving a card to write out our prayer points so like i wrote out about my job because i've mentioned it here that i'm looking for a job about my child um about like conceiving like trying to conceive and about I think my husband or something yeah so I think the third one is about just my husband and all that thing. so yeah but the first one was about conceiving I think and the second one was about my job and so I just like like put that there prayed and dropped the card so that same month was my birthday we went to um, Florida then or like before my birthday we went to florida and we went to um gaylord if, you go, if you've been to like gaylord um, um like hotel and streets in um, um in florida you know it's a really nice place and they have this like nice stuff like roller coaster stuff and things so i did like some stuff there and but i noticed that i was having like um i was having like this back ache very like strong back ache but then i uh, like definitely it came to my mind that uh, maybe I'm I'm like pregnant, but then it's <laughs> Do you know how many things happen to me? Like that there, there are times I would I wouldn't see my period early Like my period will be late and I'll be like, yeah, I think I'm pregnant and then three days after this period is going to come There are times I'll be having cramps as if I'm pregnant like lots of emotional stuff and When this one was happening, I was like, hmm, it's one of those things. I'm not even like I'm not deceived I'm just gonna take it off my mind and stuff. So like that month went like that. I think um the beginning of the month I had my period already and stuff, so I wasn't thinking of it. So around September, I was supposed to have my period, and then the day I was supposed to have my period, I I was like I was just I, I had this conviction in my heart which was different from other ones like before I would think I'm pregnant, but then this time the conviction was like deep seated like it was like an assurance that i'm pregnant but at the same time like you know fear and everything maybe, maybe it would just like make you feel like oh maybe you are not and stuff but then normally i would wait till i miss my period and maybe check the second day or the third day but this day i was supposed to start my period that morning and i decided to check that's not the first time i would check anyways but this time it was like i just feel like it's I, I feel I just felt it that I think something is happening this time and then I took um if I have like two types of pregnancy strip I have like the cheap one where it shows just line and I have the clear blue one that shows like pregnant or something so I used um the thin strip one I'm going to like insert pictures and video and like it showed like the two lines were red and I was like it's a lie and then i tried another one and i was like i just knelt down in the in the lead, um, in the bathroom and i was like god like i was just like thanking god i was like no is it happening like i was so surprised and then like the next day oh then i think the next day i test then i didn't have my period that day then the second day again my period didn't come then i tried again and then i didn't tell my husband because of like it's like every time we really try to think i'm pregnant so like I was like, so the second day, and I was like, my husband was baiting for my son in the morning, and then I was like, sweet, I think I'm pregnant, and it was like, it's a lie, and stuff like that. I was like, seriously, and then I tried, I tested again with the like 
small pregnancy strip and then it should and it was like oh let's let's use clear blue like since because for my son's pregnancy the cheap one wasn't even showing well i had to check i had to use clear blue before i could see it but this one it was obvious it was just the day i was supposed to start my period and then like i was like okay i'll just wait till like three days then later oh till like i think the next week then three days after i was like okay let me just try it and then i used clear blue and it shows pregnant i was just i was i was i was surprised i was ha i was so glad <sighs> Like normally, um, why I didn't want to have, I, I've been trying since my son was two years because I I don't want like too much of age difference between my first and second child. I have, um, um, my younger sister is just, um, she's five years younger than me. And I didn't really like um, the too much of age difference. Like when I was growing up, I reached, I had like, a, a sibling like closer to my age where we could do things together I'd rather instead of me like just like going to a neighbor's house i grew up in nigeria by the way like hanging out with people and stuff son um kind of is like me is i feel like it's even um, is i don't know he's very extroverted and he loves people a lot and uh, when he was growing up we noticed that so i we really wanted to like have a second child like when it was two years so like they would um be two years apart and at least maybe after that we can decide like to have maybe a third or something but then like this thing didn't just happen so like we were really surprised so that was why we wanted like a two years um difference in um in uh, um like our child spacing so but then like we're not trying this thing and then it's not working out so we're really happy and um I'd, I'd, I'm, and before then i had scheduled a um doctor's appointment because i was i went to see i was having like this funny stuff in my stomach and then i went to see a gynecologist i can't remember i can't i think i went to see i, I think i went for the normal physical checkup or something i can't remember but the guy said i should see a gynecologist again that there should be other things i they need to do like they need to check this they need to check that so i scheduled an appointment so i just went for the appointment they were like oh i need to like see like obituary blah blah since i'm i've conceived now so at my nine week we went to the hospital um for um like my first um pregnancy appointment and then when we got to the hospital like i went with my husband like he would always follow me like for doctor's appointments like most all the time actually actually like when i'm pregnant so we went to the hospital and we we're joking with the nurse we we're like oh maybe i'm having twin and before then when i was six weeks i, I had like i still having like pregnancy sy um, symptom like crazy ones crazy crazy ones so i was like it was it's, it was really terrible like i'm i'm going to talk about that later probably when i'm talking about like difference when i'm talking about like all that thing relating to like my um pregnancy so we went to the hospital um, oh sorry so we went so we're joking with the nurse we're like oh probably she's having twin probably i'm having twin my other was also, also joking about it about having twin and then like well, i was talking about something i was like oh, maybe i'm having twin it was all like something we're saying out of like joke because it's not in our hands to have twins and <laughs> we, we it's not in our hands so the sonographer came and what was it the sonographer yeah the sonographer came and then she checked um my i'm um, still uh, my um, stomach you know like the way they would scan using um the i don't know what they call that thing they put gel on my stomach and then they were scanning and then she saw the baby at nine weeks and she was like oh the baby is okay and blah 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 you're having just one child and so just one child in there and then i i was disappointed because somehow i i was expecting to have twins even though I, deep down I'm like oh, oh it's going to be a miracle but then at the same time i don't know if you understand what i mean there are times that you would think something would happen but at the same time you feel like oh maybe it won't happen that was what happened and then 
when the sonographer said I was having um, just one child, I was always like, oh, just one with all that symptom because I don't know, we're just both fitting it with all that symptom. So like we were just like all talking and joking, playing, and all of a sudden someone said something and I laughed. And when I laughed, the second baby just jumped up. And before then, my husband saw like a sack. My husband was asking the sonographer, she was like, it was like, is it possible to have a empty sack in a stomach? Because it kind of saw something that looks like sack, but you know, it's not a professional, so it wouldn't, it was just like, it wasn't sure. It was just like, is it possible to have an empty sack? And she didn't like reply. But it was at that time we were all joking and then I laughed. And that was when the second baby just jumped up. And then, <laughs> oh my God. And then when the second baby just jumped up, I was like, oh, I think there's a second baby in there. I think there's a second baby in there. You be careful what you wish for, be careful what you wish for because we're all joking about it. And she was like, I need to call a specialist to come and check it. And then the doctor came and then he was checking and I was like, yeah, yeah, they have having twin. And I was just on the, like, you know, the hospital bed. I was just like, like I was literally like, for one minute and tears was dropping out because I was surprised I was really surprised I was like wow I'm actually having twins so they just checked and after then instead of the normal prenatals you use they just start prescribing like different things I'm going to talk about that in another video and stuff like I'm so excited like thank you so much guys for watching I'm I'm excited sharing this I've waited a long time to share this and just coming in here and sharing it it's like I'm sharing like something very dear to me that was just how I knew I was having twins and since then like we've been going for doctor's appointment they've been checking me and they've been doing okay so far they are doing very well and I'm um, I already did a gender review on January 1st. I'm going to make my next video would be a gender review to review to you what I'll be having. But before I upload that video, I would like you guys to like comment down below. Um comment on my gender or on what you think I would be having. Will I be having girl girl, boy boy, or boots? Just comment down below. Make sure you share my video. Um tell me what you think about this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited sharing this video and um I I don't know it's to share like I'm going to show you guys my stomach um, my belly bump now and I forgot to tell you guys I'm 24 weeks now I'll be 25 25 week on this Friday today is 22nd of January um, let me check to be to confirm yeah so So today is 22nd of, of January and I'll be 25 weeks, I would have completed my 25 weeks by 24th, which is um, two days to come. So yeah, so the babies are growing um, um, and my stomach is really huge, really, really huge for, a 20, for 25 weeks. Like I feel like I look bigger than when I had my son, but I'm going to show you guys my belly now. So you guys will see how I look like at 25 weeks or 24 weeks. So this is how I just finished eating though. I just finished my lunch, but then I don't even eat that much. I was really hungry. I went to this store from my doctor's appointment and stuff. So yeah, so I could not even wait to laugh tie ahead to make this video but this is how my stomach looks like so I am 24 weeks so this is huge this is massive so this is basically how my stomach looks like All right.
bye all right guys that is basically everything thank you so much for watching my video today i'm excited sharing this good news with you guys thank you for um coming along to share this good news with me um if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel to see more videos i uh, make hair video fashion videos and i'm going to be inserting like twin videos because whether i like it or not that is like now my mommy life is now an essential part of my life it's not like before we had just one child now i'm having like three children and um it's going to be an amazing journey um ask me any question anything you want me to make any kind of video you want me to make even though i'm uploading this video after i had my baby but i basically still like like i went through it so i can like say a lot of things so any question you have just make sure you tell me in the comment section below ask me any question um if you want me to make like any video that has to do with like twin doing masters online any video like you think i i should make just tell me in the comment section below i'll be so happy to make it thank you so much for watching don't forget to click on the subscribe button <laughs> bye guys